over me. You know they use me, they blow. In a man,
praise you are the wisdom who are lifting up our hands. We bow down this morning to worship you. We worship you. unto the Lord. Shout, clap your hands, oh you saints of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for an, a powerful worship. It's testimony time. It's testimony time. I can't hear your voice so. <laughs> it's testimony time. It's testimony time. Are there testifiers in the house this morning? Oh. Testifiers. Testify. Can we see your hands? Testifiers. Please, if you have testimonies and you're online watching, please send it to our group. Just put it out there. We'll read it out. Testify. Please come out. Just kindly come come out if you have testimonies clap your hands clap your hands clap your hands mommy testifier is here we call her that's her name <laughs> praise god praise god praise jesus the lord is good brother i just want to say thank you jesus for giving us another opportunity to gather in his presence the Lord has been so good to us. I thank him from the month of January. This is the month of April. And I believe he has brought us this far not to leave us. I want to thank God for his journey that he has brought us this far. A journey of two today they are, we, are, we are a football team in the family. This month is a, our month of our marriage anniversary. 40th years of joining. The Lord has been so good. Even not for him, who am I? His mercy is always there for us. He has done so much for me, which I will not be able to say everything. But I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for the journey he has brought us. And I know he's still taking us far. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can we just acknowledge God for that testimony? Can we thank him? 40 years of his faithfulness. Oh, let's thank him. Let's thank him. Please, do we have any online testifier? Online. Okay, none. For none. I, I'm sure as we proceed, there will be tech. Can we just bless God for that testimony one more time? Let's stretch our hands and say, Father, we thank you. We thank you for what you are doing in our midst. We thank, let's thank you and say, Father, next, I'm the next testifier. I am testifying next. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for that which you have done and you are still doing in our midst. To the end, oh God, that only your name is glorified. In Jesus' name, we have worship. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. For those that don't know, that was my mom. And they've been married for 40 years. <laughs> Praise God. Come on, let's celebrate God. Today we know that uh, marriages are under attack by the enemy. We are victorious in Jesus' name. Can you people see me there? Push and move inside so that I will see everybody's face. Please push and move in. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Are we ready for what God wants to do today? The Bible says the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short.
What are your expectations today, this morning? What are your expectations? What are your expectations? What are your expectations? Let's lift our voice, begin to bless the name of the Lord. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds. Sing that song. thank you we give you glory and praise we are gathered unto you lord jesus today we are gathered to be filled lord we come empty so that you can fill us up that at the end of the day your name will be glorified and your power will be made manifest in our midst in the name of jesus lord the expectations of the righteous you say shall not be cut short may our expectations not be cut short in the name of jesus father we depend on you tonight, precious Holy Spirit, my senior partner. Do what you have planned to do today. And all glory will be as part of your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. So good to see everyone today. Uh, good to see my dear pastor. Our dear pastor from inside Bible Church. Come on, let's put our hands together. To fellowship and bless us today we are so grateful praise god let me just dive straight to the world i've just teach very briefly and then we'll pray uh the theme is being filled with the spirit and then we cannot have the theme being filled with the spirit without being filled with the spirit we cannot just talk the talk amen, amen. praise god the anchor scripture is ephesians chapter 5 i'm going to teach very fast because I don't want to spend too much time. I want to allow the Holy Ghost to do what the Holy Ghost will do. The Holy Ghost will do what the Holy Ghost will do. So we're going to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. He's the one that supplies our needs. He's the supplier. Amen? Amen. Say Holy Ghost is my supplier. We will only be vessels and channels to be used. But the one who does the supply is the Spirit. Praise God. Now the Lord is that spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Are you expectant this morning? You know, we're always preaching in the night. So we always say, are you expectant tonight? <laughs> oh, praise God. I want you to, in one minute, increase your expectations. Can we do that? Increase your expectations. In one minute. You don't know how to do it. It's to close your eyes. I say, Lord, I was expecting 50. Now I, I double it to 100. Increase your expectation. 
uh, on Thursday was the first time the Holy Ghost said to me, I was preaching, and he said, tell the people to increase their expectation. I didn't understand. So I did what he said, and at the end of that service, I understood what it meant. So I'm giving you another opportunity to increase your expectation. Expect to be filled. Praise God. You are not coming here to listen to just words. Uh, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. So increase your expectation that he will supply your every need according to his riches and glory. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 18 to 21. Popular scripture. We know it a lot. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. Oh no, I think I wanted to go back to verse 15 actually. Let me open it here. Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 15 down to 21. Are we there? Ephesians 5 from verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the time for the days because the days are evil. Redeeming the time for the days are evil. Praise God. We don't have time to waste. This is not the day where we have any day to waste. Redeeming the time for the day are evil. Amen. Follow me carefully. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Be not unwise, understanding what the will of God is. We dealt with that on our Wednesday Bible study uh, videos on YouTube. You can catch on that. And now, verse 18. And be not drunk with wine, wherein it's excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Uh, some translations say, be being filled with the Spirit, meaning remain high on the Spirit. Let your supply never run short. Amen. Amen. Let your supply never run short. Amen. Amen. But be filled with the Spirit. Don't be drunk with wine wherein it is in excess. But be filled. Replace wine with the Spirit. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus. Submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God. These are the fruits that you find when you are submitted. When you are filled with the Spirit, submission will not be difficult anymore. Uh, pride will be swallowed up because you are filled with the Spirit and then there is no room for any self. It's now we are one body in Christ. Amen. You give thanks always when you are filled. Many times that we struggle, the challenges we go through is simply because we are not filled. Amen. Simply because we are not filled. When you discover that you are struggling a lot, what you need to do is to go back to being filled. Go back to your supply. Pop up your drink. The reason I was having a conversation with a friend of mine yesterday and then we're discussing and we said that the man, God has put something in man. There is a spirit in man, the inspiration of the Almighty, giveth him understanding, right? And then God, the Bible said, what is man that you are mindful of? Your mind is full of man. And then we discussed and we said that the Holy Ghost or the Creator uh, in Genesis, God the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, they cut out of themselves and deposited in man so that when we are with God, God is complete. We are complete. Amen. We are incomplete without God. Am I communicating? We are not complete. No matter what satisfy we try to that's why man is always in the circle of looking for something we are always chasing something some of them they are chasing alcohol some of them they are chasing uh, uh sex they are chasing cocaine they are they are always chasing something and then it fills them for a while and then after a while they come back to reality and they go back again nothing can satisfy but god nothing can satisfy you but who god no matter what you try 
Even money. 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 Uh, very interesting topic. Money cannot satisfy like him. That's why having money without him, you feel empty. Can you increase it for me, please? You feel empty. Nothing. Can you say to yourself, nothing can satisfy my soul but him. This is why God himself is chasing after you. As imperfect as you are, God, the perfect God is looking for you. He, nobody begged Jesus to come and die. Nobody wrote a petition and said, please God, were you, anybody here wrote petition to heaven for him to come and die? He came by himself and suffered things so that he can reconcile us back to him. Why? Because without us, he is incomplete. If you have an understanding with this, then chasing after God will be a pleasurable ride. When you spend hours in traffic going for his presence, it will be a burden. It will be longing after satisfaction. Have you eaten somewhere that the food so satisfies you that you are going back there and there's all sort of tribulation on the way preventing you from getting there? What, what is that thing that keeps you going? By the time I take the first one, it will be worth the wait. Am I, are we together today? So, everything we are chasing, nothing can satisfy you but God. So, we must be filled with the Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord never leaves you the same. He will never leave you the same. He forces an advancement in your life. If he meets you in the wilderness, he will push you until you become a fruitful field. And he won't stop there. He will push you further until you become like a forest. Imagine a desert place being torn to a forest. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 15. Isaiah 32 verse 15. Until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and the wilderness be a fruitful field and the fruitful field be counted for a forest until the spirit be poured and when he comes everything he meets that is a wilderness experience a wilderness life an unproductive life he will push and drive you until the location is that you are fruitful praise God many times when we talk about being filled with the Holy Ghost or talking about the Holy Spirit the only thing that comes to mind is speaking in tongues and two Holy Ghost fire. What else do they use Holy Ghost to do again? Those two. Many people. That's all. Speaking in tongues Holy Ghost fire. But he's much more. He's much more. Tell your neighbor he's much more. I wish that your desire can be for him. There is a, there is a way your heart posture is, 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 is positioned to, to long after him. David understood this in Isaiah um, Psalm 62 or 63 there about. My soul longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where there's no water. It is you that satisfy my thirst. Others' thirst is water, wine, champagne, and drinks. But his own thirst is the Holy Ghost. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. The Holy Ghost had not come to dwell in at this time. The Holy Ghost was only coming upon, but a man had understanding. He said, cast me not away from your presence. Take not the Holy Ghost from me. But some of us, when the Holy Ghost has been grieved and has left you, you are not even aware. You are not even aware. The Holy Ghost that used to wake you in the night to pray, he stopped waking you for two weeks and you did not notice. But a man, way before the Holy Ghost came to dwell, he said, take not this Holy Spirit from me. A king had everything. He had such understanding. He said, it is better I fall at the hand of God than of men. Why? He knew that God is a merciful God. Last, last, his mercy will speak. But men, they have no mercy. The Holy Ghost that used to whisper sweet words in your ears in the morning, he has stopped talking for a long time and you are not aware.
Kali Mosi Fratish Kepe. He does not leave you the same way. He's the equipping that the Lord said. That I will not leave you comfortless. I will not leave you alone. I will not leave you empty. It is for your own good that I go. Because if I don't go everywhere, if Jesus is in Leki, the whole from Leki to where? Ikeja will be filled with people. Then he moves. He mainly enter Cameroon and shut down the country. It is for your benefit that I go. Because if I don't go, I can't multiply. I will send him, then he will be Jesus with you, unlimited. Holy Ghost is what? Jesus with you, unlimited. One on one Jesus. Oh, please, picture it for a moment. One on one Jesus. What will you do with that time with Jesus? One on one. But yet, we ignore him. I had a vision many, many years ago where I was with the disciples, Peter, James, all of them were talking and then Jesus was inside the room. So we're just talking about the miracles and the signs and wonders. So amazing, excited, like, oh, the blind saw this, this, we're talking. And then so I went inside the room to pick something and then so I greeted Jesus, the Baba. I greeted him, say, you know how we greet them, where does that? Uh, I came to take something and we took it and I was hurrying back to the gist and it dawned on me say wait this is the reason for it all and nobody is with him by the time I turned and realized he was ascending and I woke up from that vision I wept and then he said many people are excited about what I can do nobody wants to spend time with me true life story the blind saw the lame walked when Jesus came back when the disciples came back they were giving reports power we showed them the dead came back to life he said don't rejoice about that rejoice that your names have been written there's something higher than the benefits of him is him if this God can give you everything and anything and said you know what nothing is worth you let me give you me be filled with the spirit Isaiah 29 from verse 17 and 18 is it not yet a little while very little while that Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. The same scripture we just read in Isaiah 32 15. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. That day the blind will see, the deaf will hear. same spirit that came upon Peter and transformed the life of that man. The same. Why are we living a sub standard life that turned a man who was not bold, who was timid, who was fearful and turned the man to speak and 3,000 people were saved. What about the Holy Ghost that we are not aware of? What is it about him that we are not communing with? Hallelujah. What are the effects of being filled with the Spirit? The effects of being filled with the Spirit. One, you experience the comfort ministry of the Holy Ghost. Ah. You would experience what? The comfort ministry of the Holy Spirit. I did the teaching on this subject. Because I used to ponder, as great as God is, when they say he will be our comforter, so all his work will just be to tell us sorry. It didn't make sense to me. I kept wondering. Because Jesus kept emphasizing he's the comforter. So I thought, <coughs> when he comes, he will just be telling when something bad happens. You know now, comfort, you know this comfort ministry in life. When something happens to you, they come and cry with you and tell you sorry. Sorry. But if it's Nigeria, something bad happens to you. You say, you're small now. Let me tell you my own. 
<laughs> that's the one way of comfort. The you that you are crying, you leave your cry and start crying for the other person. One day, the Lord showed me what a ministry of the comforter is. I did a full teaching on this. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 2 and 3. Isaiah 51. Hmm. Once you are filled with the Spirit, you would experience the comfort ministry of the Holy Ghost. Look unto Abraham, your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. The next verse. For the Lord shall comfort Zion. For the Lord shall do what? Comfort Zion. How? He will comfort her waste places. And he will make her wilderness like Eden. He will do what? He will comfort all her waste places. And he will make her wilderness like Eden. That's the comfort ministry of the Holy Ghost. Are you seeing it in your Bible? And her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody will be found there. Thanksgiving and what? The voice of melody. Until the spirit be poured upon us from on high, then the wilderness be torn, counted, turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field be counted as a forest. So when you are struggling, then he comes with his comfort anointing and breathes upon your dry land. Productivity comes. Am I communicating? Breathe upon the land. The Lord shall comfort Zion. When I first saw it, I said, okay, he's about to tell Zion sorry. Zion was experiencing a dry land. He wanted to tell them sorry and now looked on. He will comfort all her waste places. That's the ministry of the comforter. He comes and does not leave a waste place the same. He, turn, he gives life to dead situations. And he will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Is this not familiar, similar to the scripture we read in Ephesians chapter 5? Thanksgiving, song, spiritual songs, hymns, singing and making melody. Are you seeing the ministry of the Holy Ghost? The anointing that brings great deliverance and transformation is released when you are filled with the Spirit. The anointing that does what? Brings great deliverance and transformation is released. Isaiah chapter 61. Isaiah 61 verse 1 to 4. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, To proclaim liberty to the captives. And the opening of prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our, to, of our God. To comfort all that mourn. Hallelujah. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. Are you seeing that the comforter has no business telling you sorry? Your neighbor is there to tell you sorry. Your uncle is there to tell you sorry. But when he comes to them that mourn in Zion, what does he do? He gives them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And they might be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Oh, I wish one person can get what I'm talking about. This is how he comforts oil for gladness ashes beauty for ashes he comes in the dryness of your life he takes it away and replaces it with his style with his personality there was a story i heard that a prince a great prince in one of the arab nations was traveling many many years ago 
before the days there were gold coin penny and all those things that time and he was traveling in his cart and then a beggar came to him and then he brought a gold coin and gave to the beggar and the man beside him said this is too much for this beggar he was just looking for a penny or anything he said it's not about him it's about me hello it's not about him it's about me so God will not reduce his standard because you are saying oh you know many people oh God give me just give me if you can give me 10,000 I will praise you you will be shocked even God is shocked say wow <laughs> but also God does not go outside of your will he respects your will free will so when you what you desire will give you Lazarus desired to eat the crumbs that fell from the he gave he went to heaven no but me I won't go to heaven from that place like, like. <laughs> my desires are different amen to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Is your life like a, a place that is mourning? This is a scripture for you. To give them beauty for ashes. A perfect description of this is to show your before picture and after. You know that thing. Uh, so a few here, you're like uh, one of these. Uh, <laughs> you're very, very, very like, bah. And then the wind of God blew on you and you became fruitful. <laughs> Nobody should look for my old picture. And they shall build old, the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the waste cities. The desolations of many generations. The effects of being filled with the Spirit. It is the fulfillment of prophecy. Joel chapter 2. That prophecy was given. So it is for everyone. Are we back online? Are we back? Joel chapter 2 verse 28 and 29. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all anybody there? Upon all what? So when we are talking this thing, we are talking about each and every one of you. Because many people believe it's not for them. Some people have this ideology, no, it's not for me. But scripture, this is the prophecy. All flesh and your sons and your daughters shall what? Prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And upon the servants and upon the housemaids, in those days will I pour out my spirit. Everybody was captured here. So the outpouring of the Spirit is for everybody. Lift your hand and say, the outpouring of the Spirit is for me as well. So I receive because I know it's for me. In Jesus' name. Sometimes you need to say these things out because you might be thinking it but your mind may not believe it. So you must tell your mind. I heard a teaching recently that Jesus was prophesying because if he had stayed quiet, he was saying, at the third day I will be raised up. He was saying it so the angels will hear and go and deliver the message. In case he, he said, okay, I'll, I'll just keep on for my, I will shock them. Many people that try to shock people have been shocked. So you have to say it out. You believe with your heart. You confess with your mouth. The combo of the two is what brings about the performance. Amen. You shall be you shall receive power. Somebody say power. Say I receive power. Yeah. This power is for you. It's for everybody. He didn't say pastors shall receive. So I didn't say because it's almost like it's pastors that have power now. That's why. Okay. I wanted to say that's why I don't like saying I'm a pastor because Papa said I should be answering pastor. I like brother. So that when I'm showing power, I say, hey, hey. Praise God. You shall receive power. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. And But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Is Lekki part of the uttermost part of the earth? 
So you need to be a witness. So the essence of the power you receive is for you to become a witness. You cannot come and say Jesus is real and you are oppressed. That's You are not a witness. Paul said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. So there is a, there is a witness that shows that truly he resurrected. Many religions around the world, they talk. Many doctrines here and there. But only one shows proof of life. Only one. And that's Jesus. Because once, as he said it twice, that I hear that power belongs to God. Power belongs to who? Every power that is operated comes from God. All the demonic, everything, the head of the supply chain is God. How to be filled with the Spirit. We're almost done. How to be filled with the Spirit. One, by waiting following instructions waiting acts chapter 1 from verse 4 to 5 acts chapter 1 verse 4 to 5 and being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from jerusalem but wait for the promise of the father which said he you have heard of me for john truly baptized with water but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. So they receive an instruction. Do not bear and go out and say, I'm a disciple. If you do so, they will kill you easily. Go and wait until you are endued with power. Many people just open their mouth and make speeches and just talk things without any backing, any backup. Jesus, the one that has all the power that was with them for three and a half years that raised them, he said tarry, wait in Jerusalem until you are endued so what is the proof that it's time to go out and do being endued, once you are endued with power, you say it's time to go out go to Jerusalem and gather wait until the promise comes don't be like my children. I'll say, wait, give me five minutes. They will just wait. Count one, two, three. I've been waiting forever. <laughs> wait. God likes to hide himself. You have to wait. That's why the Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord. They, the ones that wait. Not everybody starts to wait, but not everybody finishes waiting. They, the ones that are separated, are the ones that wait upon the Lord. They shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. They start to fly at heights that are beyond the heights. The natural. And if you see that scripture in Isaiah 40 verse 28, you see attributes of God was passed down to those that wait. Let me show you. Isaiah chapter 40, quickly. Isaiah 40. verse 28 Isaiah 40 28 has thou not known has thou not heard that the everlasting God who the everlasting who everybody confirm that's God the Lord the creator of the ends of the earth fainted not so the attribute of God is that he does not faint one characteristic of God is he doesn't faint neither is he weary hello are you seeing it there is no such of his understanding so now he's telling you about God that there is, he does not faint he does not get weary so you can get weary because you get tired and everything because you are running on energy levels that is short supply that's why our batteries of every phone and every device after a while it goes off you must keep charging because you are limited but he said this God that we are talking about he does not faint he does not get weary go to verse 31 but they that wait upon the Lord wait let's read verse 30 first even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall so he's telling you that well we are all human 
That's what they say. We are all human. All humans fail. No problem. Verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So when you wait on God, you become like God. In the kingdom, by waiting, you go far. People say, ah, you are, you are dulling. You are... Look, when others are building a two-story building, and you are digging your foundation of 10 stories. You know he would have finished building and invite people for housewarming. You will still be digging foundation, Abby. Everybody will look at you as a failure. <laughs> but they that wait upon the Lord. When your building starts to come up, that is how they will be looking at it. And the sun will blind their eyes. They can't see. That's what the scripture is saying. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. If you are getting weary, what do you need to do? Wait. Are you fainting? What do you need to do? Wait. Waiting is a mystery. Hey, in this world where everything is happening on the go, everything is just pyong, pyong, pyong. Waiting is hard, sir. Ah, it takes grace to wait. <laughs> Tell somebody I'll be there by five. Five minutes, but I'm a principled man. I love being on time. I don't care. I got wait. <laughs> but if I say, come and take a check of one billion and I delay for two hours, sir, will you, will you, will you complain? <laughs> we wait because we understand what we benefit from waiting. That's why David never lost a battle never lost one battle never lost a warfare why he was waiting on god shall i pursue will i overtake will i recover god said pursue i've cleared the way and he goes with the assurance that he has a backing so jesus said wait in jerusalem tarry the air until you receive the promise of the father another way to be filled with the spirit is to pray in the holy ghost the tongues that we pray that one that we know there is also a dimension where we must we must tap into we must pray long in the spirit first corinthians chapter 14 18 paul speaking i thank my god that i speak with tongues more than ye all we are talking a congregation of thousands of people one man speak, spoke in tongues more than all of them where did he have time to be doing other things? I'm not talking about those brothers. I agree them. Good morning, sir. Leku barande cinema. What will you eat today? Karako peketia. No. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You download mysteries when you pray in the Spirit. You download mysteries. You access information that are beyond your five senses when you pray in the spirit. Are we getting blessed? Expectations, Proverbs 23, 18. For surely there is an end and an expectation shall not be cut off. When you saw the theme this morning, being filled with the spirit, what are your expectations? Are your expectations just to come as usual and go the same way? He said your expectations will not be cut short. Meaning, whatever you expect is what you go with. Jesus said, tarry. They waited there expecting. They were anticipating. If the door opens, then look, is this the spirit? Somebody say, hey. They say, is that it? Expectations. Birth manifestations. Ask your neighbor, are you expectant? Are you expectant to? One accord. Acts chapter 2. It's 1 to 4. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. You know what I saw here? That the Holy Ghost is in a hurry for us. He's been waiting for an opportunity.
to be a blessing to us. So he comes as a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each and every one. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Who gives utterance? The Spirit. For some of you here, your tongues may have dried up. But there will be a fresh supply today. For some of you, you would have grown weary. But there will be fresh supply today. One accord. When we come together, all of us have one purpose in our hearts. To receive from him. Then he will meet us at the point of our needs. Finally, what are the evidence that you are filled with the Spirit? The scripture we just read now. You begin to speak in other tongues as the Holy Ghost gives you utterance. That is a sign that you are filled. That is not all there is. That is just one sign that you are filled. Two, you become bold as a lion. You become what? Bold as a lion. Proverbs 28, 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue it, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Have you seen a drunkard? He can slap a policeman. One that is filled can slap a policeman. No fear. So when you see that fear has started to creep into your heart, just know that you are in short supply of the Spirit. Amen? You are in short supply of the Spirit. Fear disappears from your heart. Fear does what? Does it make sense that a man called David will meet with lion that wants to eat goat? Goat too. That is she And then you will risk your life to save the goat. Or sheep. Is, sheep is even... There's no fear. He said, Nev- not on my watch will anything be lost. Have you seen an eagle, the size of an eagle, the claw of an eagle coming for the cheek of a fowl, of a chicken? Yeah? And the chicken will open the distance for eagle. Eagle that just one, pium, you are gone. Fear, no fear. Why? It's about protecting her offspring. And you think God will allow the devil mess with your life when he's watching over you. Did you not hear that he that keepeth Israel neither slumbers nor sleep? Why have you believed the enemy so much that you have doubted God? Why have you believed the devil so much that you have seen God as a backup or a, a, an option? Even the demons know and tremble. People believe the word when a, a witch doctor said seven days and you are dead. They believe it more than when a man of God blesses and say this week you are blessed. They believe that one. Why? Because they see the, you know, from Yoruba film, the red cloth and the cowries. They believe that one more. Am I lying or am I alone here? Why? The enemy has advertised his power on CNN. He has advertised it on African magic. Everywhere you look, you have seen the power of the enemy. So you don't believe God. Let me tell you, believing the enemy means you don't believe God. You can't believe God and the enemy. It's not possible. Not possible. A man will speak because he's an Oboni. He will curse you and speak his incantation. Did you not hear that you two have incantation? When he's doing his own lekome, you come. Rakube senema. Lefrakapata. They speak and we speak. But we speak as oracles of God. Hello? They speak. No problem. You two speak. But your speech comes as an oracle of God. Backed up by heaven itself. No man will be able to Why have you allowed fear cripple you? He that watches over Israel does not sleep. But under his watch, 
He said, Lord, I know you are watching over me, but <laughs> for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love and of a sound mind. Of power, of love and of a sound mind. I don't know who it is that has an attack on your mind. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. So be bold. Be bold. Lamentation said, Thou, who is it that says a thing and it comes to pass when God has not commanded? So before you put a curse on me, has God commanded you? And I know what his commandments are that blessed be anyone that bless you, cursed be anyone that cursed you. The curse, curse shall not stand. So I respond back, I shall not die believe to declare the works of God because the enemy will always take permission from you. He will whisper a thought into your head. If you believe it, you yourself will be the one marketing it for, for him. I had a dream that I died. I had a dream that I died. Hello, please, I don't know you but you are going, but I had a dream that I died. So that when you die, they will say it's true. He saw it. Have you not heard it? He saw it. <laughs> then you begin to market because Jesus speaking he said out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks and forgetting that principle in Romans that said with the heart man believes unto righteousness but with the mouth you confess unto salvation so you believe it and confess it no force on earth can stop it so if you have believed what the enemy has said concerning you and you have confessed it God will be preparing a way for you there this one will soon come Hallelujah. Acts chapter 7 verse 55. But he, Stephen, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadily into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. But he, Stephen, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly. This was a man that was being stoned to death. He was being stoned for Christ's sake. He was being stoned. He was about to die. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up and Jesus was standing because this man is full. When you are full of the Spirit, your eyes are open. You begin to see into the realm of God. The Bible talks about Jesus seated at the right hand of God. But this man that was full of the Spirit caused the Son of Man to leave his seat and stood. That was the only time in Scripture that was recorded that Jesus stood. He was about to die. He was filled with the Spirit. He prayed, forgive them. They don't know he sounded like a man called Jesus who was full of the spirit without measure. That they beat him with wicked strokes. They flogged him, bruised his, his, his skin, tore it on every side. And then he said, forgive them for they do not know what they do. They don't know what they do. They have no clue what they do. When you are full of the spirit, forgiveness is easy. This man was at the point of death. Wait, have you seen a picture where they stoned somebody before? Have you seen that video? Where they are stoning people? He said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are running low and you need fresh supply of the Spirit, this is what you should do. Acts chapter 4, verse 29 to 31. Acts chapter 4. When you are running low and you need fresh supply of the Spirit, Acts chapter 4. They were filled in Acts chapter 2, and now in Acts chapter 4. They were threatened to stop preaching. Just like life would throw challenges at us. They were threatened. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants 
that with all boldness they may speak thy word. They were not asking that thunder will fire their enemies. <laughs> I know the kind of prayer I would have prayed, yeah? <laughs> Grant your servants boldness. When you are full of the Spirit, purpose is clear to you. Your assignment is clear. You are not confused about what to do because the Holy Ghost will inspire you. By stretching forth thy hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they spake the word of God with boldness. I thought they were filled in Acts chapter 2. How come they were filled again? Why? Because we need fresh supply. We need fresh supply of the Spirit. We need fresh supply. Some people were filled. The last time they were filled was in 2012. If you are driving your car for one month without fueling it, can you do anything? Will it still go? And you wonder why you are cranky. You wonder why you are easily upset. You are not filled. Praise God. Final words. We must stay filled because it is from the overflow that we can be a blessing to others. I say again, we must stay filled because it is from the overflow that we must be, we can be a blessing to others. You cannot be a blessing from the one that is sustaining you. Have you not read of the story of the ten virgins? Five foolish, five wise. The foolish ones came and said, give me from your oil. Give me from your supply. And they said, I'm sorry, I can't give you because if I give you from my supply, I will run out. The two of us will be empty. It is from your overflow that you can be a blessing to somebody. I repeat, it is from your what? Overflow that you can be a blessing to somebody. Let's rise on our feet. Acts chapter 4, verse 29. They prayed, Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness they may speak the word by stretching forth thine hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, and when they had prayed, and when they had prayed, when they had prayed, when they had prayed, they had prayed the place was shaken where they were assembled together. Are we assembled in a place here? Is it possible for this place to be shaken tonight, this morning? When they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they spake the word of God with boldness. What was the key here? One, they were assembled together. Two, they prayed. You are going to lift your voice and pray for a fresh filling of the Holy Ghost. A fresh feeling of the Holy Ghost. The prayer is personal between you and God. I've given you all the attributes. I've given you some, not all, but you have seen what it means to be filled. But they that wait, they that wait until they get filled, they shall take off and start to fly. Now it's between you and your God because they pray. They pray, they pray, they pray. Are you feeling cranky easily? You need fresh supply. Are you falling sick all the time? You need fresh supply. Are things not working out like they should? You need fresh supply. All you need is be filled with the Spirit. This was the promise that was given. That you are filled with the Spirit. This was the promise that was given. That you are filled with the Spirit. This is what Jesus said. It is expedient for that I go so that the comforter can come. When the comforter comes, I told you, he does not leave you the same way. He drives you from where you are to where you should be. 
if there is an altar in your father's house, like the angel appeared to Gideon, thou mighty man of valor, how can you call me mighty when I'm here hiding from the enemy? I'm hiding to do the white press. I'm struggling. Where is the story of my fathers? Where is the story of how he delivered us in, in Egypt? And by mighty power, he showed his hand strong. Why are we hiding? But the angel did not come and say, thou hiding man of valor. He said, thou mighty man of valor. God does not speak to you according to what you are going through. God speaks to you according to what he has called you. It is left for you to find your way to that place where he has called you. When you are filled with the spirit, you get to know what God has called you then you find your way then if there's an altar in your father's house that's not allowing you to get to that place he will show you like he spoke to Gideon go to your father's house and destroy the altar there that is what is not allowing you to become mighty he will reveal himself to you I will send you another comforter Alos Paraclate another of the same kind another me I will send you another of the same quality so that it will follow you one 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 in the morning he is there with you you are going to open your mouth and pray and cry for a fresh feeling of the spirit you will cry hey 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 I wish you understood what I'm talking about this is not about your neighbor this is not about your friend it's not about your spouse it's not about your relation this is you that can download God into your spirit man and you become a superstar because men will gather to watch you set yourself on fire and the world will come and watch you born fill me with a feeling with the spirit fill me afresh with the Holy Ghost come on open your mouth and pray Hele boko si le vronde ke si krada me krodos ke si akata zandosu le franama le safrana le pili shuk wede we hele ke le boya na ma le na ma na na si le ma na ma na 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 ta biya na hele ke le boya na ma na ma na hele ma na ma na ta si le boro ko shala na ma na ma na na hele ke le ma na hele ma na ma na ma na ma na ma na Fresh feeling of the Holy Ghost. Fresh feeling of the Spirit. Fresh feeling. Fresh feeling. Fresh feeling. Fresh, fresh. Le Kradish Kasiha. Le Kradish Kasiha. The Bible says, everybody that was there, they were filled of fresh. Everyone that was there. Le Kabason de Kradiha. Le Kabababa. Le Kashaka. Le Kakata Patiha. Le Kradiha.
You have heard the benefits of the Holy Ghost. You have heard the benefits of being filled. You access the comfort ministry of the Spirit. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. To access the comfort ministry of the Holy Spirit. Let Him breathe upon you. Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. Ah! Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. Then the wilderness be turned to a fruitful field. And the fruitful field be counted for a forest. Let it move. Let it breathe upon us. Let it breathe upon us. Be poured upon us. Be poured upon us. Be poured, be poured, be poured. Yango Kobasha. Yeka Basika. Fresh, fresh. Fresh feeling of the Spirit. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Be filled, 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 be filled with the Spirit. Come on, push, push, push. Come on, push. Come on, push. Push beyond the limits. Push beyond the limits. Push beyond the limits. And break into fresh supply. Keep digging, keep digging. He said, out of your belly shall flow gushers of living waters. Hey, Barando for Beledia Kata. Oh, there's a fresh oil that's about to flow in this place. Hey, Matatia. Don't be a spectator at such a time. Ia kaba, ia kaba, leberos, leberada, ragadaba, roko shekin, le gredish kebele kosia, le prango kopati kedia, shoko kopani agada, ele mani anamayo na 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 na. Feel us once again. Feel us once again. Fill us once again. Fill us once again. We wait on you. Fill us once again. Rada Baba Bakosiha, we wait on you. That's going to be supplied. Lord, we wait. We invite you, Holy Ghost. Let the children not be left out, Lord. Let the children not be left out. Let the adults not be left out. Let there be fresh supply. Touch, Holy Spirit. Touch. Touch. Touch your people. Let the Bobocosia, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall receive energy of God so that they can fly so that they don't get weary come on push come on push come on push I beg of you I beg of you push hey. we wait we wait Holy Spirit we wait oh Lord we invite you now we invite you Spirit of God we invite you Holy Ghost and we wait we wait like the day of Pentecost we wait, we wait. Oh, 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 we wait.
at the point of the overflow. Lembo, come on, press. Press. They that wait. I know it's not easy to wait. I know your attention span is just going here and there. But wait. They that wait are the one that will renew. is comforting you. It's comforting your waste places. It's comforting your waste places. 
is comforting your waste places. There is fresh supply. There is fresh supply. There is fresh supply. The angels of the Lord are in this place. The angels of the Lord are in this place. And I see a jar of oil. Hey, oil of gladness is coming upon you right now. Come on, press. again feel us once again like the day of Pentecost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost feel us once again Like the day of Pentecost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Like the day of Pentecost, fill us once again, fill us once again. Like the day of Pentecost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, like the day of Pentecost, fill us once again, fill us once again, like the day of Pentecost, oh precious Holy Spirit. Oh, precious Holy Spirit. Everyone stop praying. And let your eyes be set on him. All eyes closed. 
looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. The Bible says that Jesus is the baptizer. Look to him stretching his hands on you right now. Look to him. Look to him stretching his hands. And he breathed upon them and said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Close your eyes and just have that picture. See the master stretching his hands towards you. See the master breathing over you and telling you, receive the Holy Ghost. Have that experience now. Precious Holy Spirit. Let the children not be left behind. Feel us afresh, Lord. Feel us afresh, Lord, that we'll stop being weary. That will stop fainting. Fill us afresh. Oh, fresh, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil. Okay, lift your hands where you are. Fresh oil. The angels of the Lord are here. Be sensitive. They will touch some of you. Some of you, they will touch your eyes. Some of you, they will touch your heart. And the burdens will disappear. Some of you, they are touching your stomach. I don't know what it is in your stomach. They are touching it. But I see fresh oil coming on three people. One is Oge. Two, Princess. Three, Amanda. Lift your hands. Rando Bosi Fretish Dizazasu Kobelia Precious Holy Spirit Fresh Fresh oil Fresh oil upon you now The hand of God rests upon you The weariness will burn away he will give you the oil of gladness. He will take away the ashes and give you beauty. Oil of gladness for weariness. Touch Jesus. Touch Lord. Touch Lord Jesus. You are the baptizer. Fill us afresh now afresh now Lord did our hearts not burn while he yet spoke fresh 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 suddenly you begin to feel light in your heart that's fresh Mrs. Adabu, see the hand of God is upon you right now. The hand of God is upon you. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. And he breathed upon them and said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. We're always waiting on you, Lord. And we know that our lives will never be the same again. The burden shall be lifted from off thy shoulders and the yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The Lord shall comfort your waste places by his Spirit. Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, the wilderness be torn to a fruitful field and the fruitful field be counted for a forest. The supply of the Spirit. We receive, we are changed into the same image from glory to glory. From glory to glory, we are changed into the image that we see of Him. Oh, thank you, Lord. 
For the hand of God is in our midst tonight. Exchanging burdens, taking away the burdens and giving you the burden of the Lord. He said, take my yoke, learn of me, take my burden. My yoke is light, my burden is easy. We receive it all in the name of Jesus. We receive it all in the name of Jesus. Thank you. With that same mode, let's just take our communion quickly. Just be in the mode of prayer. There's an exchange going on in the spirit. There's a fresh zeal that's been imparted into your spirit, man. Father, we thank you for your body. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your spirit. Let us be changed, Lord, from bread to flesh. Let us be transformed, Lord, from wine to blood. That as we partake, we have a revival of spirit in the name of Jesus. And you that are at the verge of losing or giving up, fresh perspective has come in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and praise. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. I'll share it to everyone quickly. Just hold that solemn atmosphere. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Feel me till I want no more. Be my God. Feel me up. My cup, Lord, I lifted up, Lord. None of our children will die. Amen. None, no, no, none of them is permitted to die. Amen. Both the ones alive physically and the ones in the womb and the one on their way, Amen. none is allowed to Amen. die. Amen. Yeah. 
bigger than what people say. situation You may not understand the effect of an atmosphere like this until you step out. The Bible says the spirit came upon Saul. He was transformed into another man. He thought it was the same that left. But something came on him. We're going to partake of our flesh. Let us break it and say the confessions. His body was broken. That our bodies will not be broken in Jesus' name. His body was broken. That our bodies will not be broken in sickness and death in Jesus' name. Don't partake of it. It's the blood of the new covenant. By this blood, people like us can terrorize the devil. By this blood, we're passed over. When the enemy comes, there's a Passover by the blood. And in Yoruba, they say, Joba, when you eat the king, you too have royalty running. And royalty will flow in our system. And whatsoever cannot infect Christ will stop infecting you. Whatsoever cannot cause Christ to die, he will stop killing you in the name of Jesus. In the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Has that been a great session? Can somebody celebrate Jesus in the house? Hallelujah. Amazing things that God has done in this service. My sincere prayer is that we will never recover from it in Jesus' name. Please, it's time to give unto God. Uh, one of the things, one of the quotes that we have in church is that it's not how much I give to God, but how much of God's money I kept to myself. Can I say that again? When we are giving, it is not how much we did what we actually gave. It is how much we kept. <laughs> Praise God. Sometimes when we give, we feel cool. I've really given. But the, the way to judge what you have given is how much of it have you kept. Are you together with me? The matter between Ananias and Sapphira was how much they kept. Are you together with me? So when you are given, begin to have this understanding. It's beyond what you just gave. How much have you kept? So that should encourage you to give some more. And God loves cheerful givers, scripture says. Have you packaged your tithe and offering? If you are giving online too, I believe the account details are there. Online, please participate and make sure you give. This is a fruitful grant to give. Hallelujah. Has someone packaged their offerings? And whatever seed that God lays in your heart, when you come to church, is beyond offering. Hear God to give more than offering. Hallelujah. As we, have you packaged it? Please rise to your feet if you have. And if you are giving online, please do that very quickly. Let's pray together. 
I want you to lift your offering unto God. If you are giving online, lift up your device through which you are giving. If you are giving by the envelope, please just lift up your hands. I want you to say, Father, thank you for this privilege to give today. Thank you for giving done to me and giving me the opportunity to be able to give. I thank you because you love a cheerful giver. And today, I cheerfully give out of that which you have given unto me. I give cheerfully unto you today. Say, Father, please receive my offerings in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Such a faithful God you are. Thank you for this great privilege that we have to be able to give to you. Lord, you first gave us your son. You gave us your all. And we have a privilege to give back to you out of that which you have provided. Therefore, Lord, we pray that you will receive these offerings to the praise of your name. And you will bless us in return in the name of Jesus. For as many who don't have to give. Father, by the coming meeting, they will have abundance. In the name of Jesus. They will give with testimonies following. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. You are God, oh. You are not just ego. You are not just like you. You are a great God. You are God, oh. You are. You are God. You are not just. will not jump from you. But dancing is part of being filled. When, have you seen a drunkard dance? The song is going left. He's going right. Immediately he sees that the song is coming right. He goes left. They can never be on the same rhythm. Praise God. May your lives be transformed in the name of Jesus. The atmospheres that change lives, to be honest, I'll tell you. Atmospheres. There are certain things that you go through just come under the atmosphere. Salt, no matter how strong it is, when water touches it, it will melt. 
So some things just submit under the presence. Look, that's why being silent before God is a mystery. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40, 31, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. The next verse, chapter 41, verse 1, keep silence before me, O earth. Because when you are at that level, you don't need words to commune. Your heart, spirit to spirit communication. Praise God. Is someone blessed today? Can we thank our dear pastor, Adedayo, from Inside Bible Church? They are just uh, close to us here, our, our neighbor. Thank you so much. In fact, they used this play and passed it over to us in the spirit before we connected. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so grateful, sir. Praise God. Let's rise on our feet as we close. But before we close, sir, did you come together? Come and meet him. There's a grace upon your life that he requires. So I was thinking both of you came together because uh, there's supply. There are certain supplies. The Bible says God is able to make all grace abound towards you. There is a grace in his life. There is a grace associated with his ministry, uh, with his life that you need. That was, made, I saw two of you together, so I thought people came together. So tap, collect, or draw water. The Bible says with joy shall you draw water from the wells of salvation. Praise God. Let me tell you some of the things that have taken place. Because of this atmosphere, certain challenges in the night time will cease. Certain nightmares that you are having will come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Because of something that has rested. Look, let me explain. When you hang around smokers, what will you be smelling of? When you are hang around the Holy Ghost, what will you be smelling of? Hey! Glory! So know this as you are walking. If I raise your shoulder, no problem. Especially when Lasma want to catch you. Do you know who I am? This time you know. He said, who are you? I'm a man with the Holy Ghost. Hey! You want trouble with Holy Ghost? Arrest me. Let's go. <laughs> Say, I will arrest you. It's just that today is my wife's younger sister's birthday. <laughs> Nobody wants to fall under the hand of God. Praise God. Have you been blessed today? Come and lift your hand and give him praise and thanks for an amazing time. Lord, we are so grateful. We are thankful. We are not ignorant of the moves you are making in our lives. You are not ignorant of the move you are making in our lives. You are not ignorant of the moves you are making in our lives. Oh, we are not ignorant. We are not ignorant. We are not ignorant. We are not ignorant. Please, quickly, can all the children quickly come? Let me touch them. Just pass through quickly. These children will be on fire for Jesus. Amen. I'll just touch you and you go back, okay? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. We worship you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. How glad you were worthy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So bless you. April. April celebrant. Because some people would make us do service again just because they pray for April celebrant. I'm not facing anybody. They know themselves. Pastor. Sir. Yes. yes. I stand on behalf of my father. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God.
Please stretch forth your hands towards this one and begin to bless them with the blessing of the Lord. It's a joyous thing for us to celebrate. Let's just bless them with the blessing of the Lord. Oh, thank you, Father, for these ones. Thank you, Father. What's your heart desire for them? Can you pray for them? Can you bless them this afternoon and just speak over their lives? Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you for these ones that are celebrating. You have done marvelously well for them. You have preserved them. You have kept them to this moment. Thank you for our Father who is not here. Lord, thank you for these ones that are represented here. Thank you for every life, especially those that are celebrating their birthdays, anniversary, and all of that. Father, it's because you have been faithful. That's why we can celebrate. We ask that this faithfulness will continue to be experienced in the name of Jesus. Let celebration not cease from their home. Let celebration not cease on their job. Let celebration not cease in their career. Let celebration not cease in their businesses. May they continue to have reasons to celebrate in the name of Jesus. Anything that steals away joy, Father, today we come against such in the name of Jesus. For it is your desire that their joy should be full. Hallelujah. Therefore, we declare as they celebrate, their joy shall be full. Amen. Thank you, Father. For we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are the Congratulations. Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. You will never share your glory with anybody. Hey, Almighty God. I just want to make a statement, and I don't want to look at anybody when I'm making the statement. On your birthday, prayer everywhere is dry. I didn't look at anybody, and anybody did not look at me. <laughs> Praise God. Let's rise. Let's just thank him for a wonderful time in his presence. Uh, many things happened here when we prayed, when we were in the atmosphere. But I saw something pending that was released. I saw something that was hanging. Almost, it looks to me like, you know, when container is hanging in the, this thing, and they are not able to release it, that kind of situation. But something that has been hanging has been released. So receive it in the name of Jesus. You, the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort you. When the Holy Ghost breathes upon you, anything in your life that he finds that is not alive, that is not productive, he turns it into productivity in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we give you praise. We give you all the glory. We thank you for your feeling of the Spirit. We thank you because we have fresh perspective. We have fresh energy to go through our week. We declare that our week and our month is blessed in the name of Jesus. And we declare that May for you shall be a month of rejoicing in the name of Jesus. Everything that does not cause rejoicing is uprooted from the month of May. We stand based on the principle of the Father who stands at the beginning and declares the end. He goes to the end and calls for the beginning. We uproot every evil day in the, day, in the month of May in the name of Jesus. And we plant it and replace it with goodness. He said daily benefit will he give to us. So we receive daily benefits in the month of May. That by the time we gather in the month of May, we will have supply in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We pray for our brethren that couldn't be here, that your hand will rest upon them equally. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. glory. Somebody say praise the Lord. Amen. So, final announcement. This is Sumi Networks. Uh, we meet uh, once a month, last Saturday of the month. I think the month of May we'll be meeting on the 27th if I'm not mistaken. But please, uh, get your numbers down. Uh, we'll text you. We'll send you a message. You want more information about us, you can check our website www.sominetworks.org O-R-G <laughs> I just remember those www. <laughs> that was what was playing in my head. Thank you to our online viewers. Sorry, Network Today was, was there. We celebrate you. We love you. We know you have received. Usually online people, they try to receive more than the people at live. I wonder why. But thank you so much. And we'll see. Uh, we'll have our Bible study on Wednesday on Zoom. Please check our website for those details. And you'll be blessed uh, for joining us. Thank you once again as we're ready to share the grace and fellowship. 
Am I missing any announcement? Nothing. Thank you. Let's share the grace and fellowship and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall in the house of the Lord forever. And Amen. Make our declaration. I have dominion. I take charge. It is a command. I must obey. I have dominion. I take charge. It is a command. I must obey. Say may. You shall be my month of rejoicing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. And have a good afternoon.